They cast the two biggest shadows some three and a half decades ago when Garner High School won the 4A state football championship. Hal Stewart, the Trojans head coach, who gave an amazing pregame speech, and his star running back, Anthony Barber, who ran for 264 yards and four touchdowns in the win. More than 10,000 Garner fans made the trip to Charlotte that day to witness the Trojans' huge upset win. They'll remember that day forever as Will Stewart and Barber, who years later won an even bigger battle. CBS 17's Todd Gibson has the the story. Seven days a week, 78 year old coaching legend Hal Stewart works out at the Garner YMCA. That may sound like a lot, but not for Stewart. I'm really not supposed to be here. Stewart is best known for leading Garner High School to an epic upset win over Charlotte Harding in the 1987 state championship game. Some 27 years later, he won an even bigger battle. I was dead. I had no pulse or no heartbeat from like th three or four minutes, maybe five. Stewart was on a gambling boat cruise in South Carolina. Blackjack is his favorite game. During a break in the action, Stewart went to the bathroom. That's where he collapsed. I'd had uh, an aneurysm of the aorta, you know, and anyone watching this, they know how serious that is, and you, your chances of surviving are slim and none. But Stewart did survive, beating the odds just like his Garner Trojans did in 1987. I'm not ready to go now. I'm ready, I'm ready to stick around. I said I spent about five minutes in heaven, and God sent me on back down. He's got some more things for me to do. Like helping others. Four years after Stewart won his fight to live, his star player from that championship team, Anthony Barber, found himself in a battle of his own. That's one of the hardest fights, you know, hardest things I've been through in my life. And they told me, said, you know, it don't look good for Anthony. He could die. Stewart was there for Barber when the electric running back got word that he had cancer. Suddenly, a man few were able to stop on the field came face to face with an opponent no amount of coaching could account for. The only thing you learn in sports that everything is not going to go your way, and you, you, you got to keep working no matter what and um no that's just a setback you know you hear the big word cancer and the first thing you think about is death um but then you gotta remember it's, it's, it's life you know you want to live together on the field they were larger than life i feel very blessed to be here blessed for a second chance at life blessed to still be a part of a community the two have proudly been a part of for decades me with my heart conditions anthony had to bout with cancer we represent garner north carolina we represent garner high school and God wanted us here, and, that, and, that's, and, that, and that's why we're here.